Just quickly stopped by the warehouse today to pick up some noodles I need. Specifically, number twos. Lucky boats, obviously. Okay, just all this here. See if you can guess what dish I'm cooking for TikTok. If any of you get this, I'll be shocked. So this is a fucking ball egg. I'm doing the giveaway for that Amoy stuff on the main channel. So I've got to copy and paste each one of these. Obviously I'll short key it normally. And the formatting of this is bollocks. So every now and then it will do a double one or a single one or then hyperlink it, not hyperlink it. It's just, I fucking hate it. It's fucking bollocks. Who the fuck invented Microsoft? For, why can't you get your copy and paste right? It's just, oh, fuck off. Just finished the YouTube ones and now having to do the Facebook ones. YouTube ones took me three and a half hours, nearly four hours. It's not, oh, th th these are just as many. Oh, fucking hell. Just fucking finished. It is. I don't know what the time is now. I think it's only four, something like that. Fuck. My eyes are sore from just straining to read names. Why is the text so small? <laughs> but yeah, so that's for the um, Amoy draw. I just thought I'd show you the setup for what I'm going to be doing the draw from. So I've got my tripod there, my laptop. That's just OBS that I'm checking out, me, my face on. And those are the giveaway prizes there. Um, that I'll be showing as I go through the video and someone did actually win uh, since this going up it was Roland Wisner won all this lovely stuff here this is fucking taking forever not as long as copy and pasting though but I didn't realize it'd take this long just got some Peking duck on there another TikTok video I actually didn't do the previous one yet um, so I went for this instead so those of you who've been here from the start will know exactly how difficult it is to run a small business in this day and age and this is the kind of comment that really kind of pisses me off. It's just, okay, so the person asked where they buy MSG from, I said, from my web store. And then this other person just said, go to a large supermarket like Tesco's and stuff. They'll sell it really cheap, um, much cheaper than you can get in the private sellers. A comment up here and I'll leave it up all the way through this rant. And then I put back, yeah, that's it. Let the massive corporations get all the money. And then it goes, well, the vendors take the piss. And you can see from my response that I was quite reserved, but I really wanted to go in. But Instagram has started. If you start swearing, it will take your comment away. So it's really fucking difficult, which is actually quite a good thing. Anyway, that's by the by. And I'm like, do you even grasp how ridiculously naive and stupid your comment is? Like... Tesco's is a multi-billion pound company, right? A small vendor like myself isn't. Tesco's can go something that I pay a pound for, for 45p. Now I sell that for £1.20. Um, whereas Tesco's will sell it for 99p and they still make a bigger profit than I will. Now I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't going to grasp this concept and they're going to write below who just can't get it in their thick skulls. That's absolutely fine. It's If you're stupid, that's it, that's you. You do you. You be stupid all you want. Just don't bring the rest of us down, okay? But those of you who haven't thought about that before and thought, actually, no, that's a good point. Support your vendors a lot more. Support your local businesses, honestly, because the kind of person who writes comments like this normally is the kind of person who is going to be up in arms when his local shops all closed down and it's all run by massive corporations because that's what's going to happen um people are sport by amazon like tesco's and stuff like that with the cheap prices and when they own everything everyone else will be fucked because they can then charge whatever the fuck they want and then you guys will be like oh i wish not you guys but those guys who think like that will be like oh well, we should have supported more of our local businesses well you fucking didn't did you because you were on the internet telling people to go to tesco's and they always have that sort of like their profile names or pictures are always something to do with like clandestine find the truth sort of thing like anti-establishment sort of like that's anonymous or they have that v vendetta mass which i think is anonymous or they have like a globe that's just got a line down it that says no it's flat and they're so anti, like, establishment, really. And yet, 
they're so fucking cheap they're willing to go and support massive companies that they're actually against rather than help out a small person trying to make a living. That to me suggests this whole anarchy thing they're all about is bullshit and it's all selfish and they're just looking for attention. They're just looking for attention, I should say. It's... Because if you really cared about the everyday man, which you're talking about, you'd be happy to help the everyday man. Instead, no, you're going around sneakily trying to... Well, not even sneakily. You're going around trying to save as much money as possible by using these large businesses that are funding the Illuminati. Fuck off, you fucking morons. Honestly, fuck off. It's just like, you are... Genuinely, what's wrong with the world at the moment? You can't grasp that you sometimes you just need to do shit you need to do. And then you wonder why your life isn't as great as you wanted it to be. Because you get in your own fucking way. Fuck off. <laughs> On a lighter note, I had pizza last night. It was good. So I've, I actually thought that was the end of that whole saga with that um, guy with the V for Dota vase. And vase, face. And he came back with this gem. Um, what? <laughs> Seriously, oh yeah, the, uh, the Chinese people padded out MSG. I'm like, no, they fucking did. And that's just what people want to, or back in the day, people just said, because when they found out it was fine, they had to have something against the Chinese people because people innately back then, even not that long ago, like 10 years, people had a distrust for them. And it's not really um, anyone's fault other than the media, really. But, um, yeah, so that bullshit came up because, and I said, it's really difficult to, to, um, uh, fake MSG because it's, you can see it's crystals, like long crystals. Uh, so just adding like baking powder or something in it, it would just, you'd notice it, it's just a ridiculous comment. And then he went, no, but they grind up elephant tusks. There were far more. <laughs> a bag of MSG is worth what, like? 40 quid, 22 kilos. I have no idea what 22 kilos of um, ivory is worth, but I'm pretty sure it's worth more than 42 pounds. Like, way more. You're probably talking thousands. So that whole thing was utterly ridiculous and borderline racist, because obviously we're Chinese, so we'd have had to have used animal parts. It's just fucking ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a community strike for saying that when I'm defending. So... Fuck you, YouTube, if you do community strike me. Strike me for this. Well, that's fucking ridiculous, right? Go like, let me comment below if that's one of the most fucking stupid things you've ever heard. Like, that takes stupid to hold you level. Now, it's obvious that they're trying to troll me, I think. I think that's what they're trying to do. But you just make yourself look really thick. Like, to the point where it's, it's not even irritating, it's... I'm laughing at you. <laughs> what a fucking spud. So I'm going to finish off this video with like the weirdest thing that's literally ever happened to me. Or well, not the weirdest, but it's out there. Um, some random fucking hair loss company uh, used my video, my joke video on TikTok, for a hair loss treatment thing without my consent. It's, I'll put it up here. This is genuinely awesome and fucking irritating at the same time that I've emailed them saying, look, you owe me some fucking rights for stealing my face. Um, I, I basically said, um, I bet you didn't think I'd ever know about this, but being a mid-level influencer, someone was bound to tell me and they did. So they're never going to get back to me because they're obviously a scam company. Like, <laughs> like they're, they're genuinely a scam company. I'm fucked off that they use that though. It is funny that uh, that that brush I was using, I, I I have to brush my hair back when it's wet, so I can tie it up into the top knot, and that's about I know it's gross, but that's about six weeks worth of breaking hair, and it's just you know you can see in the photos it's just hair, um, but yeah, so I thought oh that'll make that'll be quite funny as a, a as a TikTok, and they fucking stole it, cheeky fucking bastards, I have no fucking idea. There's no real recourse I can have other than shame them like that guy tried to shame us the other day but that was it's fucking ridiculous right i genuinely cannot believe it it's like normally when people steal images of people they're attractive um 
but they obviously needed like the everyday loser <laughs> who's losing their hair to advertise their products. Oh, oh that's quite sad actually. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Anyway, I. How fucking cheeky is that though? That's fucking cheeky. I'll say bye. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Patreons get extra shit. You know that they get the names at the end of the stuff as well. So, yeah, thank you very much, Patreons, for supporting the channel. Really been needed over the last few months, especially with me closing down the restaurant and everything. But yeah, cheers, guys. Take care. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin out. Shout out to my Patreon, massive. Thank you very much for being part of the Chin Nation. It means so much. A massive thanks.